These are impossible NBA shots from level one to level 100. And at level one, Kobe Bryant makes an assist to himself. And seven in the fourth quarter yes. the other night, played through. Good point. Daddy A watching Kobe. Scooping. Trying to put it in. How in the world can he do that? He passed to himself off the backboard. Oh, that was a one. Wow. Forget having teammates, bro is the team. Just like Jamal Murray in 2016, who was too busy dropping buckets. Go learn something and come back. Listen, the idea of going to camps too, I think it is something that everybody assumes happens for everyone, and there's a lot of people out there that have that on. Did Jamal Murray just do that? He was in irons. He gave up the dribble, and somehow his prayer was answered. He's got 19. He's a lucky man. Thanks to this play, Joel Embiid doesn't even trust the process. But now, let's watch Reggie Jackson shoot like a girl. Andre Shaw would go. That clock still running. It's a two, now one. Reggie Jackson with a scoop. For that. Bro nearly lost his dignity, but at least the basket counts. Although at level five, John Morant doesn't need to shoot like a girl when he can shoot with either hand. And Morant, Conchar, Bain, Morant will take it. Oh, that was shot. Oh my, hold on to your hats. Wow, that was some kind of acrobatic shot by Morant. Now he has a third way to shoot his shot. Now that's scary. But while level 15 is scary, level 20 is disrespectful. Back of the round, Cantor grabs yet another board. Jared Jack throws it. Oh, he puts it in. Oh, he puts it in at the buzzer. What a pass from Jared Jack. And Hardaway completes the play. It barely touched his hands and he threw it up on the rim. Gymnastic acrobatics by Hardaway. Hey, somebody call 911. Hardaway Jr. sucked the life out of Miami. And now that you're calling 911, I almost forgot to tell you. As the levels get higher, the shots become harder. There's still to come, one player makes a half-court buzzer beater, another makes an off-balance game winner, and Kyrie Irving makes one of the best shots you'll ever see. But before we get to those levels, it's the time y'all may had eyes in the back of his head. Release is not the same. Henry gets it out of the Oh, what an unbelievable shot. English isn't his first language, but he definitely knows how to spell circuit shot. However, Kyle Lowry doesn't have time to enter the spelling bee. Instead, he's too busy doing this. Raptors with a chance here at the end of the first half. DeRozan gives it to Kyle. Kyle loves it. Sheesh, no wonder people call him B.B. Lowry, Buzzer Beater Lowry. Get your head out the gutter. Speaking of buzzer beaters, the Clippers are no strangers. Because in 2015, defenses had no answer for the two-headed monster of Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, especially the Denver Nuggets. Redick. Right front of the Johnson with two, with one. Griffin the fourth up. Oh, me alive! A three ball by Blake Griffin. Caught the ball in the air and didn't even come down with it. Down. That's the best alley-oop of his career. Who knew Blake Griffin was so good at volleyball? Although, I want to also bet you didn't know an NBA player could do this. Get Stephen Curry and Iguodala, I want George Hill. That said, if there's one person who can hang with George Hill, it's Anthony Simons. Take a look. Simons, one on one with Mills. Simons, the handles. Wow! Take a look at this. First, the joystick, up and down, twirls, still gets it to go. There was a quickness and an acceleration. Now, for playing horse, Anthony Simons just gave us all an H. That is, everyone except for Latrell Sprewell. The ball the game is on the floor. Sprewell gets it back. He shoots in the seat of the class and scores! Seated at the free throw line! And just when you think you've seen it all, guess again. But now that we've reached level 50, it's time to raise the stakes. Because these shots are so preposterous, so entertaining, and so magical that you won't be able to look away. And it all starts with Luka Magic. See, we all remember his magical performance against the New York Knicks recently. But what most of us don't realize is he's been a magician this whole time. As on November 6, 2021, the Celtics and Mavericks game was coming down to the wire before Luka performed the best trick of them all. He takes it. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who shot that to the jumbo truck? Jeez, look at this. It's the matchup you want? Couldn't play any better defense. Hey, yo, hitting a game winner with three defenders in your face? My man is on another planet. That said, Kobe Bryant isn't just messing with gravity. He's also slowing down time. Behind the shoulder. Throws it over his shoulder. No luck. And gets it. Never saw the rim. Mumble. Between the drive, the spin, and the no-look shot, I don't even know where to begin. But while Kobe was shocking everyone, Tony Parker had his own plans. Spoiler alert, not even the Warriors could get in his way. With the puck. Parker gets past Green as well. Oh, puts it in. What a shot by Tony Parker. Okay. Oh, what, what an acrobatic shot. 
Yet everyone can make a lucky shot every now and then. But even if you take all the lucky shots combined, I'm still not convinced you have Brandon Ingram beat. But that's again, that's big new. That's big new to this situation. Brandon will get it back. Oh! He can't even pick up the ball. The next, he's getting jumped by the entire team. Wild. Just not as wild as a level 65 moment. Because if there's one thing you are told not to do, it's shoot with two hands. Three, just 23%, but he's made a couple. Oh, he's making me look like I don't know what I'm talking about, Martin. Moran. Oh, wow. Threw it in. It's a three for John Moran. You might have found a new shooting stroke, partner. Lesson learned, it's Ja's world and we're all just living it. That said, before it was Ja Morant's world, it was Russell Westbrook's world. Since in a 2012 playoff series between OKC and Kobe's Lakers, tied 70-70 in game five, Westbrook made one of the best fast break plays in NBA history. On the other hand, the Wayne Wade needs to be celebrated because what this man did against the 2006 Pistons, the Pistons will never forget. An open area. Wade finding an open area inside, drives hard, drives the foul. Oh, Wade puts it in. 20, three, shot. Game resting in the balance, Wade is not the guy you want to leave open. Same goes for James Harden because on January 3rd, 2019, Harden's Rockets were against the Warriors, trailing by two with one last chance to win. There was one small problem. Everyone knew who was taking the game winner, James Harden. But then again, Harden did care. Gerald Green to inbound. Harden trying to get free. Down to three, down to two, and to three. Good! Good! He got it! James Harden, a flamethrower! Incredible shot! There's no denying it. My G had their number. Just like Stephen Curry has the Celtics number. As even before he beat the Celtics in the finals, or before when he hit the night-night celebration, he was doing this in the NBA bubble. Curry spins. Step back, trying to draw another foul. Oh! The circus shot and the foul. One of the most incredible and ones you'll ever see. Yeah, this wasn't the only time Curry made the impossible look easy. Not even close. Bad pass trying to hit the Michael Green. And Steph Curry trying to draw a foul. Flips in a three. John Moran can say whatever he wants about the Grizzlies rival. Curry was the Grizzlies' daddy before Ja even hit college. That said, there's one player who was everyone's dad. Because it's one thing to hear about Samson in the Bible, it's another to see him up close, let alone play against him. Now, no fouls. It'll be Steven Adams. They give him Steven Adams. And wow! The one-hander from the half-court. Wow! I'm just saying, that's Steven the second Adams. percentage buster that they've given him. Wow! The big man slings it up and Maybe growing out your hair really is the secret to extra strength. Yeah, what if I told you that's not even the real reason Adams grows out his hair? It's only because he's subscribed to the channel. You're welcome, Stephen Adams. But enough about Stephen Adams. We really should be talking about this next play. Because three years before his half-court buzzer beater, another OKC player did the exact same thing. Same one-handed shot with the exact same time remaining in the second quarter. Check it out. Connington, a former baseball pitcher at Notre Dame, showing off that. Hit up on the deflection by Ty. Goes! He got it! What a shot by Taj Gibson! That he was so impressive, Taj Gibson could take over the Falcons' starting quarterback job. Alternatively, Kevin Durant is content right where he's at. Because whenever he's healthy, there's not a player on the planet that can stop him. Only in 2014, the Grizzlies thought they had the last laugh. See, with only 18 seconds remaining, they held a comfortable five-point lead. And to make matters even better, it was the playoffs. That's when Katie said, hold my beer. Give that foul. Memphis has had an answer all night. A quick 6 0 run out. Got a piece of that one. Almost out of bounds somehow. Durant, let's go! Oh! Don't get me wrong, the Grizzlies won in overtime, but they learned a valuable lesson that day. Never count out the Slim Reaper. And do you know what else you can't count out? Devin Booker. See, on August 4th, 2020, the Suns were battling the Clippers in the NBA bubble, and there wasn't a person on the planet who expected the Suns to win. In fact, they barely made it into the bubble to begin with. However, the Suns didn't care. Instead, it just made them even more motivated to win. So lo and behold, Devin Booker did the unthinkable. Away, and the Suns have it. Six to play. Booker, this is for the win. What a shot by Devin Booker right here.
Unbelievable play. It was at this moment when the entire NBA world realized Devin Booker was special. But for level 96, we have something even more special. The time Derrick Jones Jr. went airborne. Third game this season. Dragic on the keeper. Lobs it for Jones Jr. He batted it in. And drew the foul. The volleyball ball for the airplane man. After that shot, my man's fearless finisher badge just got upgraded to Hall of Fame. He put his body on the line. Although there's a difference between putting your body on the line and going all out when the game is on the line. Because on April 14th, 2021, the Mavericks were inbounding the ball with less than two seconds left when Luka knew he had to do something special. Gotta get it in. Here's Luka. Gets it away. It's good! A dagger! He went the three. As he was stumbling, he somehow got it to go. Which begs the question, is there anything Luka Doncic can't do? To which I got news for you, absolutely. Because for these final three levels, there's no more Luka. It's only the best of the best. And if we're talking about the best ever, we gotta rewind 20 years. Back to June 14th, 1998, where we'd be in the presence of greatness. Game six of the finals between the Bulls and the Jazz, where Michael Jordan was just one win away from completing his second three-peat. Scratch that, one shot. 17 seconds from game seven, or from championship number six. Michael Jordan running on fumes with 45. The shot's itself out of the ordinary, but the pressure, especially for a legend like Michael Jordan, now that's what makes this shot impossible. However, at level 99, it's time to combine two together, an ultra difficult shot when the pressure is at an all-time high. You see, the year was 2016, and the Warriors were coming off the greatest regular season in NBA history, 73 and 9. And to top it off, they were even better in the postseason, especially during the NBA Finals against the Cavaliers. Because just after four games, they found themselves up 3-1, a deficit no team had come back from in the NBA Finals. That said, LeBron James wasn't about to let his home state down. So little by little, the Cavaliers kept gnawing away at the lead. And so finally, the series was tied at three games apiece, with one final game to determine the NBA Champions. That's when Kyrie Irving made the single biggest play in Cleveland's entire history. Irving and Curry, one-on-one. -on -one. Irving puts it up. It's good! Kyrie Irving from downtown! And the Cavaliers by three! And I like the no timeout call by Steve Kerr. Quarter for Cleveland, including this one. They came out of the time. First, Peyton Manning goes out on top, then Kobe Bryant retires. And now, this is hard to top 2016. So it's only fitting that with one level left, level 100, the moment also comes from 2016. The date was February 27, 2016. A Saturday primetime game against the Warriors and OKC. 2.7 seconds left in overtime. Tied 118 apiece. Curry with the ball in his hand. But hold up, let's rewind. Because make or miss, this was an historic performance Steph was having. 43 points and 11 three-pointers. Putting Steph within one three-pointer of the NBA single game record for Three when this happened. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With six tenths of a second remaining. The brilliant shooting of Stephen Curry continues. And he ties the NBA record with his 12th three pointer of the game. And if this shot isn't the most impossible shot, then I don't know what is. After all, the shot wasn't just impossible, it changed the NBA. Because on this day, two things were born. The logo shot and Mike Breen's iconic double bang. But do you know what's even better than the double bang call? The time an announcer clowned Nick Claxton. The time De'Aaron Fox turned into Steph Curry and one NBA player's legendary performance. These are the 26 most ridiculous moments of this NBA season. And if you're ridiculous enough not to watch, then Steph Curry is hitting the game winner against your favorite team next.